And hello, hello guys, welcome back in my flat creative world and today I've got some really interesting stuff for you. So yeah, on the Minecraft forum I saw a question, is it possible to detect when the brewing has ended? And the answer is, yes indeed it is possible and I'm really excited about this thing, because it is really nice. But yeah, in the last episode I've told you that I will show you this thing, and by the way it is a creeper de detector or separator, but yeah, it can wait. So yeah, let's start from the beginning. I had a setup like this, with a comparator, a block in the middle and a chest. I destroyed this uh, chest accidentally and yeah, what happened was this, uh, nothing. <laughs> in fact, yeah, the comparator will preserve its state and we can just update it and yeah, it will again, just the signal will disappear. So this is perfect because this is a bad switch, but we can't really move with chests or destroy them and automatically replace. So yeah, I thought, okay, we maybe be able to use a minecart and a chest in it and yeah, move with the minecart and maybe we would be lucky and yeah, it's not working like that. But I had another idea and uh, it's using... Um, Again, a minecart and a chest in it, but we are now moving not with the minecart, but, but with the detector rail under it. And we can retract it, and yeah, it is perfect, because that's pretty much what we wanted. We now have a working bot switch, and we can reset it just by retracting, the, retracting this uh, detector rail, as you can see. And yeah, it is perfect. And we have a signal, so just a torch should do the trick like this. And this is already a working bat switch that will reset itself again. So yeah, like this, or even here, or even up there uh, on the... Yeah, like all these blocks we can ch uh, detect whenever there is an update on them. So. Uh, I've been mess messing around with this and placing blocks like a madman and I have came across this thing. Let's put the chest in front of it and wow, you saw it? <laughs> yeah, we can detect whenever there is a chest placed here, but yeah, it is one block away from the butt switch, so it is weird. And even if we change a state of its inventory, it will detect it. So, that is something really nice, and I now know why it is doing this. And I will show you. If we have here, for example, let's have this chest here, and a comparator next to it, or even we can have a block in the middle, and then the comparator, and now the comparator should, uh, its signal strength should represent the number of items in the chest, of course. But, um, yeah, you can do it in all four directions from the chest, and you already know this, but what is the point of this all? The point is that the chest is the key, because the chest is notifying all these uh, comparators. For example, if we have a sand in it, the chest will tell these comparators to update. So yeah, even if these comparators are sideways like this, or yeah, it will update them. So yeah, the chest is the key, but be careful about this block, because if it is missing, well, nothing will happen. So yeah, we have a working design, uh, but it's not perfect, because there is some redstone around it, and yeah, it's not good, so I've invented this design, and this is the final design, finally. <laughs> and yeah, uh, it is one white that is perfect for us, and also it is working uh, pretty much the same way as the previous design. So yeah, let's test it with a chest in front of it, or even we can have a chest on this side, uh, like here, and if we now change its inventory state, it will again uh, detect it. So yeah, this is perfect, and uh, it is one wide, so for it could be tileable, and I thought, okay, let's uh, make more of these cells next to each other, and yeah, we can try it, what we, it would be doing. So yeah, I've created this thing, and of course there's a problem. If you have a butt switch next to another butt switch, it should do a chain reaction, like it should do it. And yeah, wow. <laughs> like, but you, you see this, you, you know, 
this is something I was so shocked when I saw this for the first time. I was like, it shouldn't do this, really, because that's the principle of bat switch. It should update, uh, the bat switch should detect whenever there is a change next to it. And here we clearly have a change next to all of these bat switches. So yeah, this is something weird, but I now know why, did, why it is doing this. So yeah, I can show you with this regular, regular bat switch. I have a comparator next to it and even a repeater. We can see the repeater is working on it, but the comparator is not. So yeah, we can change the state of this comparator and uh, it won't update the block next to it. And this is perfect for us because we now can do tileable bat switches next to each other. Like I have here, this uh, huge platform, I have uh, dirt, dirt blocks here and we can just uh, make a crop or a change its state and it will detect every single dirt block here. So yeah, this is um, perfect for us because now I can show you all the things we can do with this and also, yeah, it is, um, it is good because we can also hide it in a wall, as you can see, for example, imagine here a room and yeah, it can be in the wall, but of course I need now destroy all these crops here because we would have random updates here and we don't want it. And yeah, let's start, for example, from this chest. Uh, we can have a normal chest like this, and it will detect whenever there is something placed in it, if we grab something from it, and even if we click in it, like left and right click in the chest, we can detect it. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Also trap chest as well, we can just click in it or put something in it and it will detect, but it won't reset because it is a trap chest and it will send a signal. So yeah, that's that's it. Furnace as well. We can cook something in it, and every piece we should detect. Yeah, dispenser as well. Just it will detect it, and it, yes, you just saw it. The furnace will. Yeah, uh, we can detect whenever there's uh, every piece uh, cooked. So yeah, this is how it is working. Uh, and uh, for example even dropper we can detect whenever there is something placed in it or even if we yeah <laughs> it it will even uh, uh, dispense the thing <laughs> so yeah this is pretty cool brewing stand as i showed shown you at the beginning of this uh, video we can detect whenever there's something uh, new in it also a hopper can be detected and yeah a beacon. This is really cool because there is one slot in the beacon and we can detect whenever there is something uh, new in this slot. For example, if we click in it, it will detect it. Music box uh, as well, but yeah, it is much easier to do this with a comparator just, uh, but yeah, we can do this. And a pretty, pretty cool thing is this, note block. We can detect whenever there is uh, note playing from the note block and this uh, we can make really nice switch with this just with a note block so yeah uh, guys uh, I I am calling these uh, bot switches but it's clearly not a bot switch because it's not a block update detector it's more like inventory update detector so yeah I don't know even how to Google, Google it if it already exists please uh, tell me how it is called and yeah, now I will show you all the uh, all the things I've built with this design. So yeah, let's go. And let's start with a brewing setup. Like I have here, the brewing station in the middle. Uh, from the right side there are water bottles. And yeah, it is full of them. <laughs> and from the upper side we have, uh, we would have an ingredient here and down at the bottom there would there is a chest where the result will be sent so yeah i have this uh, contraption here and this should uh, like detect whenever there is the brewing has ended we can have this nether ward here now and yeah just by flipping this uh, 
lever we should start this thing so yeah we can do that and now we should see that yeah it will fill with uh, water bottles this me mechanism and down still nothing but yeah we are now brewing these uh, things and we are we should see now that it should empty uh, this brewing stand yes and new uh, water bottles should go in and now down there two awkward potions because one is stuck in this hopper every time there will be one stuck because yeah we are powering that hopper so the new bottles won't be sucked down and yeah uh, you can see that it is not really compact design i'm not really good at doing things uh, compact but it is just a proof that you can uh, do uh, this thing just with this inventory update detector and yeah i would uh, leave this task to somebody who really know how to do things compact and yeah uh, it should be probably doable really nicely if we would have even one more operator that would be just yeah, sending a signal when there is bottles in there uh, so yeah when there is no change with the comparator but change with the detector then we should like empty it and things like that so yeah this is working and let's uh, go to another setup right now and here we are with this crazy machine and we will play some music now <laughs> Because, yeah, we have all these node blocks and we can play some notes here and this machine will repeat exactly the melody. So, yeah, let's listen. And, yeah, I shouldn't probably be talking. So, let's try again. And, yes. So, yeah, you can hear it. It will repeat exactly what you are playing on these node blocks, so this is really cool. <laughs> yes, uh, I like this thing uh, a lot. But yeah, uh, I should show you from the side what exactly it is uh, doing. So yeah, we can see the post here, and whenever the uh, la lamp is lit up, we can again play some uh, music. So yeah, it works like this, and uh, yeah, let's test it again. This one is cool. Oh yeah, don't you think? I I really like this one. So yeah, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo. Uh, let's end it here, and it's not really useful, but yeah, a uh, funny project, and uh, let's go. And now something completely different. <laughs> Oh yeah, we have a melon farm here and so let's go and let's harvest some melons. The problem with melons is that we can't directly detect when they are uh, growing because of these comparators. We can detect only the block on top. So yeah, we can't grow a melon on top of a comparator, but yeah, uh, I will put some melons here and we should be able to see what's going on. So if we have these melons they should destroy the grass that is under them and we can detect that indirectly so yeah we should be hopefully able to see it uh, it can take a little bit time yes you saw it right here the melon destroyed that grass and yeah we harvest it and here it is this is a card that is collecting all the drops from the melons and yeah, it would be sent to this chest. Oh, button. Uh, <laughs> we will send all these melons to this chest, and yeah, that's it. And another problem is when we have these dirt dogs here, we need to prevent melons from growing there. So yeah, I have just the glass pushed there, and again, when the uh, grass will grow there or spread there, we will uh, just retract that uh, glass so yeah uh, you can see this design is a little bit different from the previous because of this part that is uh, harvesting the melons but yeah it is pretty much the same principle and i can even show you with a hoe 
that if I will make a crop here, it will twice detect it because yeah, it will destroy the crop, and again this destroy uh, this dirt will detect be detected. So yeah, this is how it works. And now I will edit this video and I will show you some uh, quick uh, shots of this how it works. So yeah. Meanwhile, I could maybe talk a little bit more about this design. So yeah, it is uh, not really compact, but I don't think it is bad. But, like, if you try to Google some designs, some of them are really huge. And this design is pretty fast because yeah, it is harvesting melons almost immediately after they grow up. And yeah, so that's, I think it's not bad. But, for example, on Dokkan's 77 channel, uh, I recently saw a video uh, that is about a uh, melon farm and a yeah, uh, nice design you can do now, so check it out and, yeah, <laughs> we should have some melons here now. <laughs> oh yeah, it is, like, it is working really good, I would say. So yeah, uh, let's do now something a little bit different again. And we will make some traps, because everybody likes traps, right guys? <laughs> uh, so yeah, imagine I am playing some super hostile map and this would be my base. So yeah, I've got uh, some space here and we will make a trap here. So yeah, a redstone dust there, a half slab here, on top a comparator and we can seal it already. And yeah, have something in inventory here, for example, anything. <laughs> and yeah, a torch there, or redstone under it, so yeah, it will power these power rails. And yeah, we will have a TNT there. But yeah, we can see it is working, so we will destroy this furnace and it will preserve its state, the comparator. So now it is the inventory up update detector and yeah we can have these uh, TNT cards here already for example yeah we should see the hitbox now and yeah for example free there and the fence here so the cards can move and that's all you really need so yeah now the trap is set and yeah we can try it so yeah uh, let's uh, switch the mode and uh, I will hopefully die now. <laughs> so, I'm a player and I'm playing my ultra super hostile map here and I just came into this place and I think this is my base, new base. There's nothing in that furnace. What is in this chest? It is full. But I have a full inventory so I should place a chest somewhere and here is a good place <laughs> and yeah <laughs> i should be dead now why i am it's kind of disappointing <laughs> i i thought i will die but yeah i shouldn't probably have my uh, diamond armor on me so <laughs> yeah that's why i am still here and yeah that's it let's end up this episode in my base and here we are in front of our conference room here in my base and yeah guys if you know how that uh, inventory update detector is officially called please tell me and yeah that's all from me for today so thank you for watching and yeah i will definitely see you next time because i have that project for you i've already promise that and yeah I will end up here so journey mo and this is not working either <laughs> bye bye